everybody. Welcome to another Ride Along with Goggles. <laughs> and uh, here we are in Montana again. Uh, we're in uh, Billings and we got a load of fuel heading for um, Missoula. So, uh, um, Overfloaters K100E with the VIT or forward front axle and KSW uh, tanker. So, let's uh, get on with it. This uh, is the Alberta Heavy Haul skin, and so just so you know, there's I got a few of them up on the workshop. The most recent one is for this uh, forward front axle, and there's an older version for the uh, rear set axle. Well, I didn't have this trailer set up uh, in this profile as a B-double and uh, so I didn't take the time to festoon it with lights <laughs> so after 100 yards turn left it's a little plane turn left See where we're going here. Right turn way down there, it looks like. Go straight. It's quite a grade for that train. Yeah, you don't see that steep a grade every day. <laughs> So the load, uh, I think it was supposed to be around, I think, uh, 50,000 pounds. Well, I better hope I'm going straight here, yeah. Turn off up ahead. Keep right to go west. I believe that would be us. Oh, and then... The lanes merge. Hundred yards, turn right. Turn right. Yeah, a good old K100. I sure put a lot of miles on this thing when I first got it. I did a old school skin for it and hooked her up to the uh, S. Is it SWC? Oh man, I'm forgetting SWC. I think uh, Doker Legacy. Stop with the truck scale. Oh boy. Okay, let's figure that out. Um, the Doker Legacy from SWC modding as a B double and hauled it all over the place. I missed the truck scale. I must fit it back there. Well, how the heck are you supposed to go to it? Oh, that's weird. Switched it to 355 gears from 336s. 
Lighten it needed to. I didn't know how heavy a load I was going to end up with. It's sailing along just fine here. Let's hop inside for a bit. So on this one, the tack reads correctly. Yeah, I wish they'd fix that on the CLT 9000. Where's the other truck? There's another. Oh yeah, the KSW 352. The tack doesn't read right in that one either. Um. Yeah, I'm not 100% uh, better yet. And I, this is pretty good sitting in this seat because I can lean back a bit. It's not as hard on my uh, the mess they made in my abdomen, and uh, as soon as I can sit at my desk a little better, I'll get back to doing some skins. And uh, now that I've got all of the accessory templates for the KSW 352, I'd like to uh, update some of the skins I've done for it in the past. I think there's a lot more detail. A lot cooler skins I can come up with now that I'll be able to fully tweak them. But, um, yeah, hopefully that's soon. Tomorrow I go back and see the surgeon and I get these drains taken out with any luck. And that'll make uh, getting around and doing things a little easier because it's kind of a bummer having these things attached. But, anyway, enough of that. All getting better. Got a new subscriber, uh, Muzzup, and hello Muzzup, <laughs> he's a current driver in driving fuel in North Dakota, and um, he says he, uh, he started in a K100 on cattle, so here's a combination, got the K100 in the fuel. Subscribers, uh, I usually leave the little message to uh, hit the subscribe button at the end of the video, but I guess the chances are people make it to the end of a YouTube video aren't, uh, aren't that great, so maybe I'll just mention it up front. If you uh, haven't subscribed, maybe give it a consideration and click that button. I'll wait to the end of the video to see if you like it. Until you stop watching and give her a like if you enjoyed it. Yeah, this uh, this is pretty pretty through here. Recon lobsters. Montana, so we're heading out of the more or less flat country and heading into the mountains here. Chain up area one mile. I'll hop in and get a look at my mirror here. Must be 
53 years now. Better take it down a notch. putting his brakes on going uphill. I don't get that. I think it's a little better now, but there were times when uh, earlier on, previous versions of the game, where you get anywhere near one of these AI and he would just bolt off into the distance like he had uh, a warp drive or something. fast lane here, I think. Yeah. We're looking for Missoula. I think I can get in that right lane. I had a stock with the 336 gears. Yeah, we're going to get pinched off here by these guys. This uh, 70 uh, mile an hour speed limit, I'm going 75. And this AI is passing me. Interesting. Let's get over here before that car catches up to us. Quite a few trucks in this trip in the, uh, from the vintage uh, truck and trailer pack. The old uh, CMC buys in there. There's a general, I guess. Is it Montana that's big sky country? Uh, I think. Oh, 
a look at the map here. I'll be staying this. It's interesting all these trucks staying in the fast lane. Somebody else passed us here. And another one. Or that was the same one. <laughs> Yeah, uh, when this uh, map goes away, I'm going to miss it. Yeah, this is a nice trailer, the uh, KSW's, I think it's a polar tanker, or he just calls it a tanker, I can't remember, but it's pretty nice, a ton of trailer configurations as you've seen, I think I've pulled uh, a couple, right. After 50 yards, turn right. couple different uh, triples, um, turn right. Turnpike double, a single, after 100 yards, turn left, oh, turn there's a home left. shop up there, you see all the stuff in the yard, I got the uh, GMC logistics uh, shop mod in this profile, Boys ever throw a lot of clutter in the yard. <laughs> a lot of trucks. You have reached your destination. Makes moving around in your own shop uh, yard kind of difficult. Let's see if we can get a look at it here. You can see all the stuff in our yard over there. Trailers, trucks, cars. That's just the front yard there. There's a bunch of stuff in the backyard too. I had it in a few other profiles, but took it out because uh, it was. I like to maneuver through my yard, so I like to bring any trailer I got through the building and uh, out the back and around. And with all that stuff parked in your way, you can't do it.
Let's see if you can see that over there. Yeah. Interesting. Anyway, here we are. Safe and sound and a nice sunny day. Not slipping off the road. It's good. Forty-two gallons, so we're really sucking the fuel back. Not bad payday. I mean, in real life it'd be fantastic, but uh, this game just seems to, I guess, overcompensate. Uh, but anyway, there we are. Yeah, great truck. I really like this one. And yeah, I mean, as a free mod, you know, just look at this thing. It's beautiful. And uh, the only thing I'd really like on it would be paintable fuel tanks. I'm a big fan of the painted tanks. I think they balance out the look. I mean, I'm not, you know, once again, price is right. But, um, yeah, so these uh, skins are on Steam if you're interested. And uh, anyway, catch you on the next one, guys. Take care. Bye for now.